far, about 30 million SIMs have now been registered or can be accounted for. And that's the first time in our history. The era of not knowing who is using which SIM for what purpose, the era when fraudsters could hide behind the anonymity of their devices to defraud people, mobile money fraud, social media fraud, and all the others are gradually becoming a thing of the past. We only use the Ghana card because we've designed this process in such a way that before you can even begin the registration process, you have to link your SIM card with your Ghana card. So you key it in, it queries the NIA database, and it returns a unique USSD code, a unique code to you, indicating that indeed your Ghana card has been linked to your SIM card. So the NIA is very closely involved in this exercise. Now we're not capturing biometric data and storing it anywhere for any purpose. But when you are filling a form and they ask you to put your photo on it, somebody has to check to see whether your photograph is the same as you, the person. And we are using technology to perform that exercise. So during the stage two of the exercise, for all of you who have registered, you would realize that they take your picture, they take the picture of the photo on the Ghana card. And before you can progress to the next stage, it has to be approved. And then they take a picture of your finger, well, four fingers and then approve it before you can continue to the next stage. We're using artificial intelligence to compare your image with the image on the Ghana card to see that it's the same image. And they have certain parameters that they've keyed into the technology to be able to do that. So nobody is collecting or storing anybody's Ghana card through this process. There's also a limit on the number of SIM cards that an individual can register, which is 10. So the era when people could register multiple SIM cards, SIM box fraud and all of that has also ended. For the corporate entities, they can register any number of SIM cards. However, the Ghana card of one staff member or director will be linked to all those cards. So if there's any problem with it, we know who to hold. Now, this has enabled us to chalk a lot of successes which hitherto we didn't have. Um, but before I go there, we've extended the deadline seven times. As I told somebody, this is Kwakwila's stop. I know that there are some people who still don't have their Ghana cards, and so have been unable to register. We cannot assume that everybody who has not registered really wants to register. So if you don't have your Ghana card and you have applied for it, please contact the NCA. There's a toll-free number. You can contact them through the, uh, their email address. You can also walk to their offices, and they have offices across the country. Show them evidence that you've actually applied for the Ghana card, but you haven't got it, and your SIM card will be exempted. Mm -hmm.